Well, thanks for watching this video. This video uh, is for a used car auto dealership, and this is part one. So the part one, I'm going to talk about uh, startup accounts, set up startup accounts. All right, that's the first thing you need to do. Okay, so uh, so this is the startup account template I have, you know. Uh, so yours could be slightly different, but these... Uh, Accounts that co cover just about uh, everything. This is pretty common in uh, used car dealership uh, business. Okay, so the, uh, the income wise, you know, you have a uh, vehicle income, which is uh, the one you uh, sell off your uh, uh, when you sell your uh, uh, vehicles, and then you may have some income from a warranty. You know, that's part of your income. And then you, do, you may have some services type of income. It's basically a pass on, or you may have a little markup, or a little, uh, you know, about the same, or, uh, you know, basically just a, uh, not a profit center. So it'd be like a DMV, or other, other charges uh, uh, built to a customer. Okay, so now there's three accounts, income accounts, and then you have cost of goods sold, okay? So the first cost of goods sold, you have the cost of sales, and uh, uh, you have different tax expenses like advertising and promotional, auto detailing, car wash, uh, license and registration fees, and and then you have pay certain uh, interest if you are uh, borrowing, uh, uh, financing someone for for this uh, inventory. So the interest portion, and then the fuel, you know, you have to. Uh, uh, add fuel to maintain uh, your uh, your car, and then some you may have some referral fees. It's pretty common, and then uh, you have uh, uh, you may have to repair something like vehicle parts and accessories. You know, uh, you, you may add some tires, and new batteries, you know that kind of stuff. And then the main one is the vehicle purchases. How much you pay to uh, uh, buy your uh, uh, vehicle? And then you have some uh, registration fees, vehicle registration fees, uh, and uh, and then you have uh, repairs and maintenance. So that this vehicle re registration could be a uh, uh, duplicate of DMV license, but uh, it, some 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 companies they have two separate charges. Okay, so then you have repairs and maintenance. You have to do the maintenance uh, fuel. Uh, fuel change, oil change, you know, that kind of stuff. And then you have a transportation cost when you uh, buy the car and then you have to transport to your location. And then you have a warranty cost, which is uh, you have to pay to the warranty company, then you generate uh, income. Okay, and then you have some, uh, if you maintain some sort of auto software, then you will need a software uh, subscription uh, money, you know, subscription charge and then you have a, the sales commission the sales commission i have it as the uh, expenses not the cost of goods sold is because the cost of goods sold you you know it's it's better to uh uh if it directly associated with the uh the vehicle you know uh vehicle one vehicle two and sales commission could be for uh more than one, you know, it could be uh, could be ten cars. Somebody sold ten cars, and and uh, uh, you can make it uh, cost of goods sale, cost of sales item. But uh, the reason it's here is uh, it's uh, you know it must be uh, uh, dealership. They don't want to itemize, you know, ten different uh, uh, charges, and it's very time consuming for them. So. It's it's just might as might as, might as well just a part of treat it as your payroll type, you know. Okay, so those are the accounts you need, and uh, and I'll have a link on next page. So here's a link, here's a template link, so you can download the Google link. So I'll also add to YouTube uh, uh, page, you know, under description, uh, and uh, if you found this educational video helpful, please consider. Contributing, contributing few bucks to support this forum, and you have uh, PayPal and Ven. My address right here. I don't do uh, services consulting anymore. Uh, basically, do once in a while. I put out some uh, 
uh, videos on YouTube. Uh, uh, so thanks for sending me all the uh, uh, helpful uh, questions, and I'm try I'll try to explain to you, and I'll try to answer all the questions. You know. Uh, but anyway, I don't do uh, any uh, consulting works anymore at this time, at least. And uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels. And uh, uh, we have uh, I have two channels. So the next bit I'll show you the channels. And after this, I'll I'll go to the uh, uh, QuickBooks Online and uh, I'll do some more work. Okay, so. Uh, and now, uh, so that we have two channels here. Uh, the channel you're watching, I started this a long time ago, 2012, and they have another one. Uh, this is strictly for the QuickBooks one. I started this in 2014, so I'm doing this for a long time. So now I'm gonna go to QuickBooks Online and go over this, and I'll show you how to import the template. Okay, let's go to QuickBooks Online and your your cookbooks online subscription could be look, may look something a something, little bit different because this is my demo account, and I have all kinds of uh, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, transactions. This is just a demo one. But I will just uh, uh, start sharing it. Okay. So now, so here's the chart of account. Well, basically, I'll just start from here from the dashboard. Okay, so dashboard, and from dashboard, let's say you want to import a chart of accounts template, uh, or you can do this manually one at a time. You don't have that many. Uh, so transactions, and you go to chart of accounts. Transactions from the dashboard, chart of accounts, and uh, on the drop down next to link, there is the import in here. So import in here. Okay, so you may have a uh, uh, CSV file from your Excel, Excel, uh, uh, Excel folder, uh, or the Google Sheet. In, in my case, I have a Google Sheet in here. So I just connect the Google Sheet, and then it will go through uh, uh, the link and everything. Okay, so the, I want I want to import is this one, and click next okay as you can see here that these are the fields you need uh, for a chart of accounts so the detail type account name account number and type in this case I'm not using account number if you want to use then you can uh, you can assign account number but I don't it's, you know I don't think you need that so anyway so the next phase so if everything checks out then let's go to the next Okay, so as you can see, here, did, it did, uh, these are the 20 accounts you, you want to import. And uh, at this point, if you think, you know, you need to change uh, something, look in here, the license is spelled wrong. Like this, you know. And uh, so if you don't want to put DMV, just put the license and registration. So you can just edit a few things in here like this okay and there shouldn't be any space in here so it's basically this is all saying you know you cost you could solely have one main account it's probably already in there so you may not need it and underneath you have a cost of sales and under cost of sales you have all these accounts you're setting up you know and then you have uh, software and the sales commission Let's see what happens. Okay, so because I have, I already have these two, so that's why it's saying you want to do it something else. Uh, so I can just ignore those two because if you already, I already have these two, you know, using for other accounts. So I'm just gonna uncheck those two, and in your case, if you don't have it, you may have the cost of goods sold, but not the cost of sales. Let's so import it. Boom! It's already there. So, like, uh, uh, let's say sales income, auto income. See, it's already in here. 
auto, auto software, auto detailing, auto everything in here, you know, business income and in here, you know, this. So it did pretty good. Oh. Otherwise, it will give you a message that you do something wrong in here. So it's, it's all in here. I've, not, I've got a pretty huge template in here, startup accounts in here. So anyway, this is how uh, you will need to handle uh, part one to import startup accounts, you know, or just add one at a time. You can do that too, you know, in here. Like uh, account type is your income, like this, right? And then the uh, the first one is uh, product income for the vehicle sales, you know. And then you have to, you can add the cost of sales in here. Account, the account type is your cost of goods sold right here. And underneath you have uh, your detail type is not that important, but you have to select one. You know? So like shipping or alcohol, like a supplies and material, whatever it is. You know, normally it's just cost of other services. All right. Well, hopefully this video is helpful to you. Well, thanks for watching, and be sure to watch our uh, other uh, parts of uh, our projects for the auto dealership. Thank you. Bye.